So, when you look at the world of mode sport, you might think dominating runs are something like Lewis Hamilton or Michael Schumacher, right? You know, winning four or five championships in a row. Maybe you go across to rally and you think about Sebastian Loeb, WRC nine seasons in a row. But have you ever heard of this little thing called the Middle East Rally Championship? You might not have. But if you're a rallying fan, you've probably heard of it a few times before, largely because of two drivers. The first one's now FIA President Mohammed Ben Salayem, who has picked up 14 championships in two different stints of winning them, and then one by itself in the middle. The last one coming in 2002, his 14th championship. Well, you have one on their own, and then you have a group of six and a group of seven. And then you have... Nasser Alatia. Now, two of his championships get broken up, one by Khaled Al Qasimi, the other by uh, Ms. Falmari. But Alatia won in 2003, then he won 2005 for 2009 for five in a row, and then, then he won from 2011 through to this season. But this season was a bit different, right? And this ends up with an FIA championship actually being signed in the courtroom. Now, an F1 fan might, you know, think about this and get traumatised and think back to this time about two years ago. But this was different. You see, al and Abdullah Al-Rahawi both managed to score the same amount of events, wins. They managed to score the same amount of second place finishes. And they had the same amount of retirements which meant on tiebreakers, you couldn't sort it out. Now, the WRC have other things, like who was fast on the first stage of the season, but they don't have it here for the MERC because they didn't think they needed to, so it convened a special meeting, and they had some pretty big names in the, uh, in the meeting to decide what would happen as per the FIA regional rallying sports and regulations. It included Peter Sulberg and Hayden Padden. But they said there wasn't enough of a criteria to decide who was the champion. Because, who do you give it to? Really, who do you give it to in that situation? And, yeah, in the end, it went to both of them. So Nasser Alatia continues the streak. Abdullah Arahawi gets his first Middle East Rally Championship. He's the first non-Qatari to win the title since Sheikh Khalid in 2004. And I think... He's the first driver to win the title from Oman. But yeah, it's um, certainly fascinating to see how that has gone, right? Y you don't see that in the ERC, you certainly don't see it in the WRC. But these things can happen in the world of motorsport. And it says you need to prepare potentially for every eventuality. But it also shows that sometimes... We just need to leave it be. You can't decide everything. And in this case, you have two very worthy champions. Let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.